Crane M3S. They fix some stuff, all right. It's awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Scott from Scott's Reviews. Like, subscribe down below, all that jazz, and let's get into this. All right, Zion, that's oh, saying it wrong, but the Crane M3S. I did a review on the Crane M3 about a while back, in which I had the crash on the table where it hit the button on the back and crashed. All right, so what is the Crane M3S and what is, what's different about the Crane M3S versus the Crane M3? Good stuff. They fixed and made, actually they made this gimbal cheaper. In a, in, a, in a long run. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go over the differences here on this one just so you know why they made an update and what it's all about. So first up, number one, number one is the quick release plate. So before, let me get my Crane M2. All right, this guy right here is the Crane M2S. So it's a little bit smaller I'll just show you the, the difference in size. Let me take off the... I love this gimbal. If you have the smaller cameras from Sony, like the ZV-E10 or the ZV-1, uh, this works fantastic. Very small, get to the point, works great. However, what I don't like about this, this gimbal is several things they fix in this one. This plate right here, this was the button. This was the plate that, that I hit that made it unlock. This is like a universal mounting bracket. So basically you put this on the underneath your camera, slide it back and forth, but it will cover up your battery slot on the underneath. And it's a ZVE-10, ZVE-1, it's gonna cover up your SD card. So anytime you take off of your camera, to get to the access those back doors, you have to re-stabilize the gimbal pretty much because you'll never get it exactly right like you had it before and you need to readjust everything. Having to re-stabilize re the gimbal every time with this thing, pain, 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 pain. So they offered for the Crane M3 to buy separate quick plates for your camera, but they weren't cheap and it added to the cost of the gimbal. I wanted it, but it was too expensive. I just would go ahead and use that because I didn't use it that often, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Now it comes with a great quick plate. So all you have to do is balance your, your camera once, leave this on your camera underneath, take it off, do photograph, put it back in your bag, on the go, and then get this thing back out, slide it back in, and you're pretty much good to go right there, power it up, and you are you should be still stabilized and balanced correctly. So that is number one huge plus. All right, number two. Number two was a thing that I was really kind of confused when I first got it was, how can I get this gimbal connected wirelessly like my Sony grip here and be able to record and stop? easy enough, right? Bluetooth remote shooting, right? It didn't have that before. You had to buy a separate Bluetooth adapter, no, to be able to hit the button here to record. I would love to have it, but I'm not gonna buy something separate like that just to hit the button to record. I can go beep on top. Well, with the new one, it, through the menu system here, you can sync it up with your Sony camera or whatever camera you have as, as a list of compatibility. And that way you can now, without having a separate adapter, start and stop your camera right there. That was good. I'm gonna show you how to pair this to your Sony camera. It took me a little while to try to find it in the menu system. And once I found it, it was pretty easy. But let me show you how that works. So in the menu system, you go to settings and you're gonna scroll down to BLE shutter. Select that as you confirm, and then we need to go to our camera. So within the camera, this is a Sony a7 IV. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, and then Bluetooth remote control. Make sure it's on. And then we wanna perform new pairing. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm on here that it is the A74. And it says successful. So you would use this button right here to basically add your shutter button on and off. I don't have a memory card in, so it's telling me that I can't take a picture right now, so that's why. All right, that was number two. Number three, uh, they increased the power of the light. So it goes from 800 lux to 1000 lux, and then they also have color temperature. So basically how you get the light going, this button right here on the side, you would hold the button in, the light will come on, you have an indicator bulb up to the right corner of the screen. And then from there, it goes from 10 to 100 or 10 to 100. And just to show you the brightness, there's 100 and there's 10. Hard to see on the camera, but it is pretty bright. Um, just click the button again and it scrolls down to the color temperature. You can adjust the Kelvin here from cool to warm. So you can kind of set your mood. And one thing it did fix, the back eyepiece would touch this plate right back here and couldn't allow the gimbal to fully tilt up or down, it would hit it. So I had to remove the eye plate from the viewfinder to get that from hitting this back area here. Well. Now, I think the arms are longer and it doesn't hit anymore. So I got full rotation with the A7 IV on this gimbal. And let me just show you how it doesn't hit the back anymore. Just like that, you're clear. So those are the biggest fixes with the S. And to me, if I sat down and said, all right, these are the things I need to get, get fixed. Don't hit the back of the camera. Uh, be able to start and stop remotely without having to buy an extra plate. Please give me a quick plate to, to on and off the camera so I don't have to rebalance the gimbal every time. They did it. All right, I'll show you how it works. Let's go, let's go film some stuff. I'm headed to the beach. So let's go film some stuff at the beach. <laughs> using the ZV-E1 on the Crane M3S and it's been a nice addition. Now I know the ZV-E1 has the dynamic stabilization which I will go back up to the bridge and do that. Kind of compare a little bit from the, uh, the gimbal. But when you got a gimbal, you got the time, you got the backspace, use it. Okay. 